We all know that while an airplane is cruising, the only force lift has to counteract is the airplane's weight. This means that the force of lift is equal to the force of gravity on that object. However, when we initiate a turn, the relationship between these two forces change. After initiating a turn, the lift force divides into a vertical and a horizontal component. Note that only the vertical component counteracts the weight of the airplane. This means we have to increase the lift so that the force of the vertical component equals the force of gravity. We can now write FL times cosine phi equals FG and if we divide this by cosine phi and FG we get a ratio of FL to FG which is 1 over cosine phi and this is called a load factor which is denoted by the letter N. So for example if you're turning at a bank angle of 60 degrees our load factor will be 2 G's which means you'll feel twice as heavy and this might also lead to false sensations of climbing while turning. This graph shows the relationship between the bank angle and load factor and as you can see at 60 degrees of bank load factor starts to rise really fast. Ok so I'd like to talk about one more thing and that is the relationship between the bank angle speed and the turn radius. Lift is broken up into a vertical and a horizontal component. The vertical component FL cosine phi is balancing the airplane's weight mg. So the horizontal component FL sine phi acts as a centripetal force to keep our aircraft on a curved path and is balanced by the centrifugal force mv squared over r. If we divide these two equations the FL would cancel each other out and so would the mass. We'd be left with sine over cosine phi which is tangent phi that is equal to v squared over gr where V is the speed of the aircraft, G the gravitational force and R the turn radius. Let's imagine an aircraft flying at a speed of 100 knots at a bank angle of 30 degrees. Using the formula below we can write that radius is equal to V squared over G tangents phi and if we put the numbers in we get a radius of 467 meters. Thanks for watching the video, hopefully it helped and good luck!